Hey everyone, it's Dan from SideHustleReliance.com and recently I uploaded a video showing the best apps to run on an Android device for a phone farm. But I kept wondering, is it possible to do something similar on an iOS device like an iPhone or an iPad or even an iPod Touch? So following on from those ideas, I've actually done some experimenting and I can confirm you can run several applications on an iOS device which can easily get implemented into a phone farm to make some easy profit. So in this video, I'll be showing off some applications which do work well on iOS. And some of these applications can also work on Android, unless I specify otherwise. But yeah, you can easily make some quick money here and it's definitely worth showing off what you can do when you've got a bit of free time. Anyways, let's dive right into it. So to start with, I wanna give a bit of transparency to you guys. So right here, I've got an iPhone 6S, it's running iOS 14.5. And all the applications shown in this video runs perfectly fine on this device. Another thing I want to mention is that these phones do not need to have a SIM plan. As long as they are activated, that's all you really need. So I'm currently running this on my spare iPhone and I'm pretty sure a lot of people have got a spare phone around. So then you can easily start with this one device if you want to make some easy passive income. Let's begin with one of my favorite sites, which is Loot TV. So this is a website based application where you get paid to watch videos. So every so often there would be an ad play and you get credited a small amount of pennies for that. And these points can be transferred to a range of different sites such as RewardXP, Gain.gg, and Free Cash, just to name a few. This site currently earns me about 50 cents a day, and it's a lot more reliable on iOS than it is on Android, so that's always a, a big bonus there. The second application I wanna show is called Hideout TV, but sadly you can't actually run loot with Hideout and vice versa. So for me, I always say go with the one which pays yourselves the best. And for me, that is Loot TV. But it's always worth experimenting just to find which one works better for you. As well as with Hideout, you can actually cash out to more different sites, such as Swagbox, Coin to Play, and Loot Up. So that's just something to be aware of. There is more variety of cash out options with Hideout than there is with Loot TV. Hideout TV is very similar to the app Loot TV. But on Hideout, you do have to complete a capture every four hours just to make sure you are still watching on the platform. As well as if you do actually have a big following on Instagram or YouTube, you can actually refer people to Hideout TV where you can get a commission of their earnings. I think it's like 10%. Normally on a daily basis, I make around 40 cents by running this web, web application on my iOS device. The next app I want to mention is called Ember Fund. So this app is literally like CryptoTab but more reliable and you get paid out more consistently, which is fantastic. So on this app, you can log in every 24 hours and mine five Satoshis per hour, which equates to 120 Satoshis a day. I've actually left my link to get started if you are interested in the description so you can just log in and begin mining. You can easily earn around eight cents a day with one check-in. But one thing to note is you can only withdraw once you actually hit $5 in Satoshis, which is around 15,000 Satoshis mined, which can take a little bit of time at this current stage, mainly due to the recent drop in the Bitcoin price. But it's just something to be aware of and it is so easy to do and so passive. I wanna give a quick honorable mention before I get into the next part of the video, just to mention the application Premise, which is available on iOS. So if you are using the other applications like Ember and stuff, it's definitely worth running Premise because it's a daily app where you can complete field research and also daily surveys for free, which can be cashed out to Coinbase and other external wallets as well as paypal cash so the surveys on premise actually do repeat every 14 days so when you get into a good routine you can easily know where to press certain buttons normally i net myself about 25p or 35 cents every time i do this daily and normally the surveys take around 30 seconds to do so you don't want to miss out on this finally the last app i want to mention is an app called my trees and this at this current time is only available on ios but eventually it will be coming to Android. So if there is an update on that, I'll leave it in a pinned comment in the comment section below when it's available, just so you can be aware of it and you can actually get it downloaded. So one thing for sure with this application is it is available in the UK, but it might not be available externally. So you may have to change your location in the Apple App Store to be able to download it for free. So how you earn money on my trees is by logging in every single day and doing a daily task or mention that you have done a daily task the day prior. This can be things to actually help the environment out, such as turning off a light, recycling, or maybe just having one cup of coffee less. And you just do this on the app. You don't have to do any proof or anything. You can just go in and tick a few boxes and there you go. And you earn money by doing this for an extended period of time, 
which is 7 days, 14 days, 21 days, or 28 days. And every time you actually reach a new goal, you will actually get more and more money every time, up to £1.50, which would be around $2 in value. So on the first payment, which is the 7 day, you actually get paid 50p or 60 cents. On the 14th day, you would get paid 75p or a dollar. On the 21st day, you would get a whopping £1 or $1.40. And then on the final day, which would be the 28th day, you would then get £1.50, which would equate to that same value in dollars. And I just think it's a great way, and it is very similar to Cash Piggy in a way, but it's a lot more consistent, you get more money, and the payment is instantly sent to your PayPal within five or six seconds of you actually pressing the cash out button, which is always a good thing. So I've done the math on this, and on average you would actually earn 17 pence a day, or 20 cents total every single day, if you do remember to log in every day and continue that chain. But I have also spoken to the MyTree support team, just to check what their rules are when it comes to multiple accounts on one IP address. So I question them on this and they state that it is okay as long as each person is a unique user with their own verifiable email and either a PayPal or bank account. So if you do have other accounts or you do have family members who do want to use MyTrees, they sure can and you can even refer them if you'd like. One thing I want to mention really quickly is Honeygain, the data sharing application which I have mentioned on my Android video, is available on iOS but it is unusable and you may be thinking why well it is passive and you can actually make some money through it but the fact that when you use it on ios you have to have that application as the main application open it's not really worth your time because you can't run other applications like hideout or loot tv alongside it so it kind of takes away from that of course it does work with ember and it does work with my trees but it is something to be aware of it is actually worth running that on its own because you would only end up making like 10 cents a day without any referrals and doing that it would actually eat into your profits because it would normally cost around 5 or 6p or 5 or 6 cents to run every single day. So just be aware that Honeygain is available on iOS but it's so much better on other platforms like Android, Windows or Mac. So if you are going to use the application it is on that, those platforms and do prioritize those instead of iOS because it's just not worth it. So I've actually worked it out and if you do actually run one of the passive video applications like Hideout or Loot TV, Ember Fund and MyTrees, you can easily make around 80 cents a day. And the best thing I find about iOS is there isn't that much in the market for phone farming. So as time goes on and as things evolve, we're going to get to see more and more applications being discovered which means it's gonna become more viable to actually use it in a phone farm. Another best thing about iOS as well, you can actually use it along with certain faucet websites such as Cointiply, where you can actually log in every single day there and earn a bit of Bitcoin. I think it's a really good way just to get started on phone farming and then you can actually use this to actually invest into other devices like Android. In my eyes, I do think Android is the way to go for phone farming, but some people don't actually have an access to an Android device. And so if you do have a spare iPhone, you can put it to work and you can easily make a bit of profit from running it. Obviously, like I said, it's not as profitable as an Android device because you can easily make three or four dollars on one device there. But if you can just make 50 cents, 70 cents a day, that's really going to add up into something amazing eventually. And if you ask me out with your money, like, for example, I always cash out to crypto whenever I cash out of Loot TV, Hideout and Ember. You can actually put that into like a high interest account such as Nexo, which is something I use personally, where you can actually gain interest on your crypto to actually gain more and more passive income and it'll slowly start to spiral out of control and it's just better for you overall. I hope you guys have actually enjoyed my little look into phone farming on an iOS device. If you do have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I will be looking into those. Also, if you have any apps I may have missed, please let me know as well. I'm definitely always looking for ways to actually expand my iOS phone farm and try to get a bit more value out of that but yeah thank you so much for watching uh wait wait don't actually click off yet there is two more videos here one which is going to be showing off my android phone farm if you haven't seen that already as well as a quick video to see the swagbooks guide i created previously which shows you how to maximize money on the swagbooks platform to actually gain a bit more money by just doing simple tasks really anyways thank you so much for watching and take care and i'm sure i'll see you guys real soon